Hello guys, welcome to Tips, a platform for textile problems and solutions. Now we are going to learn about the tensile strength measurements. Measurement of tensile strength. These are the methods used for evaluating the tensile strength. Let's see this in detail. Pendulum Liver Principle. This is a diagram for pendulum liver principle. Consider P as a pendulum whose weight is mg and let force be F. Consider a jars J1 and J2 whose velocities are U and V. For extensible material, this V is greater than U. For inextensible material, let us take moment about pivot point. That is F into R equals to mg into x. That is equals to mgr sin theta. Considering R, M, G and small r are constant, F proportional to sin theta. That is F is the tension in the specimen. Here, machine rate of loading and time rate of loading is both proportional to cos theta. Beam balance principle. It is neither CRE and not CRL. Consider AB be the beam. It is pivoted at C. Let P be the load on the specimen. So taking moment, we will get P into BC equals to F into AC. This is the Presley fiber tensile strength tester. Presley index is breaking load in pounds upon bundle weight in milligrams. And converting into tensile strength as in gram per text. Presley index is multiplied by 5.36. Here, length of the sample at zero grade strength will be 0.464 inch. Stellometer, constant rate of loading. It works in pendulum principle. It measures strength and elongation of a fiber bundle. Loading is carried by the deflection of the pendulum. Here, initial effect is eliminated. By taking moment, this also gives force proportional to sine theta. Here, length of the sample at zero gauge length will be 12 mm. Inclined plane principle. Here, consider plane DB distilted by dropping B at a constant rate. Here, P is the force on the specimen that is equal to W into sine theta, that is, force proportional to sine theta. In triangle KAB, sine theta equals to AB upon KB. Considering KB as constant, sine theta equals to AB, that is, AB increases, sine theta also increases, so constant rate of loading is achieved. Ballistic or impact principle. It measures work of rupture instead of breaking force. Here work of rupture as per the diagram will be W into H2 minus H1 in pounds. Constant tension winding test. Consider AB be the fixed pulleys and P be the movable pulley. When tension is imposed, the material got stretched. Let E be the extension per unit length. Then, the output tension will be equals to input tension into 1 plus extension per unit length. Consider a graph between the brakes and tension. Let N1 be the brakes per thousand yard at tension T1 and N2 will be the brakes per thousand yard at tension T2. Here slope will be log N2 minus N1 by T2 minus T1 that is constant or it can be indicated as tension T equals to T1 plus T2 minus T1 multiplied by log X minus log N1 upon log N2 minus log N1. Empirical equation. This is P equals to X minus K sigma. Here, P is tension required to produce N breaks per thousand yards and X is the mean single yard strength and sigma is the standard deviation of single yard. Here, standard breaking rate is 8 breaks per thousand yard. This is a standard one. And in BS book, tension required to produce 8 breaks per thousand yard is given as T equals to X minus 3.3 sigma. That is, K value is 3.3 with 20 inch test length and 8 breaks per 1000 yards.